So first we're going to hop into Blender and we have Blender open and then we're going to delete this and you can click X or delete and then we're going to go up to add or shift A for add and we're going to go to mesh and get a plane. Now once we have this plane, what we're going to do is assign a texture to the plane. So we're going to pull up our shade editor. Now in the shade editor, we are going to create a new material. Once we have our material, we're going to assign a texture to the material. Okay, now once we have that set up, uh, I'm not going to go too in depth how to do texturing in this video, but um, maybe in the next video I can go through that in a little bit more detail. So we have all our nodes set up now, and you can see we have this piece of wood, which has little surface imperfections and cracks and bumps looks pretty nice so what we're gonna do is render out or bake out all these textures from the roughness and the normal so that's basically all we're doing is taking the roughness and the normal and converting them into an image texture and to do that we need to first of all click Control shift and then right click and create a base node a base node for all of the textures except for the normal we're going to do the normal separately so now what we're gonna do is set up our viewer node so first of all create a new image texture and then I'm just gonna click on the base node we made we're gonna do control shift right click sorry left click <laughs> And that'll set up our viewer node. And now you can see it is only viewing the uh, base texture. So this is the original texture image. So we're going to bake this image texture out. So how do we do that? We're gonna grab yet another screen. And we're gonna change this one to UV editor. And then we're gonna create a new image name this base or uh, Alberto doesn't really matter uh, I'm gonna put this at 4k now once we have that we're going to click you can scroll out and see this is gonna be our image after it's rendered so we're gonna click here we're gonna go to base and then we're going to go over to the render tab, change the render to cycles and go to bake and then change bake type to emit. Now remember to click on your image texture and click on the object you'd like to render, which we're using a plane for this. And make sure that this is set to sRGB for the base texture. We're gonna change that for the roughness and um, yeah. So now go over here to the render, uh, change this to two. Uh, I mean, you could do whatever you really want. This is just for time's sake, we're gonna do two and go ahead and hit bake. All right, so now that that's done, we can see that we have an image here, which is our original image texture. And it's pretty low quality, but it's still 4K. Um, you could really just change the settings to whatever you want it to be, and then it'll make it either higher quality or, you know, you can do it fast like this just for the tutorial. And then what we're gonna do is go to image, save as, and we're gonna name this base image. Save as. Now we're going to go over to our roughness, and do the same thing, control shift, left click, not right click. So now you see we're only viewing the roughness. And what we're going to do here is same thing as last time. We're going to go image new, keep that, and then go to name, change it to roughness. Okay. Now, uh, I mean, you can really turn this to like four or one, or it doesn't really matter, but we're going to change the output which is our new image texture 
to roughness and change this to non-color because as you can see it doesn't have any color data and um, it's just it makes it easier when importing it back into Unreal Engine so yeah and then we're gonna go to bake and yeah we're gonna go to bake hit bake all right and boom we have our roughness image right here we're gonna go to image save as and it's already named roughness so you can keep it as roughness Okay, so for the normal, this is going to be completely separate from the other ones because Blender actually has a normal node. So all we have to do is go to image again, new, and then normal. Now we can change the image to normal. And we want to keep this on sRGB. And we're going to click our image texture and this so for this one we're actually going to connect it back to surface so we can just view the whole thing so and I'll show you what it looks like so this would be without the roughness so you can see there's no uh, surface imperfections and if we take the normal off this is what it looks like normally so just show you the before and after so there we go, plug those back in, and this time we're going to click this. Well, I mean, we could... See, so you can either export the bump map uh, by itself, but we're just going to do the entire image texture of the normal. So we'll click on this, and then we'll go to Bake on the Normal tab, and then hit Bake. All right, now once that's rendered out, we're going to have our normal map here. So we can go ahead and go up to Image, and then Save As, and it'll be Normal. Uh, you could change this to n underscore normal because then Unreal Engine is going to import it as a normal map. You don't really have to do that, but it saves a little bit of time, I guess. Uh, save image. And then uh, we're going to hop into Unreal Engine. Alright, now that we're in Unreal Engine, we're going to create a new folder. And you can just name this the texture. So, I mean, you do a texture folder. And then in your texture folder, just create a new texture. I mean, sorry, new folder. Name this wood for this example. And then we're going to create a material. Now this material will be called, again, wood. Now we're going to open up the wood texture and we're going to start importing our material. All right, so once you find your exported materials you can just save that in a new folder or whatever on your desktop we're going to grab all these drag them into unreal engine so it should be importing all right now that those imported we are going to drag them into our material scene so we can start with the normal go ahead and drag that in and we're just going to plug that into the normal then we're going to drag in the roughness same thing drag that into the roughness tab and we're going to do the same thing with the texture. Now you can see that the texture has been fully imported into Unreal Engine. The physical um, texture has been imported to Unreal Engine. And we have nice little whoop, surface imperfections, uh, bumpness, all that stuff. So all we have to do now is we can set up a few nodes here really quickly for the specular so we're gonna grab a constant and we're gonna change the constant to maybe 0 0.2 for the specular and you could do this separately in blender it's just or whatever 3d program it's just um, it's a little easier here so Grab another constant for metallic, keep it at zero because this is wood. There's no metallic value for wood. So now you can see we have a nice little texture here. And we're gonna hit apply. Alright, now we get to apply the material to our scene. So 
The way we set up this material basically means we can cast this onto any object. So, of course, you need to do a little bit of, um, you know, uh, UV editing if you want it to actually fit your model. But as you can see, it casts to this uh, object, and it has the surface imperfections, the roughness, everything. Um, go ahead, bring that up, and then we'll hit play. All right, we go over here see that it's perfectly mapped and it's pretty high quality and of course the image texture is going to be a little high quality a little higher quality for you if you render out not in um, two pixels I mean you could do it by like 180 or you know 200 and then it'll be pretty high quality um, but yeah basically here I'll show you so I just dragged in a floor, we can go ahead and go back to our materials, content, and then under texture, wood, grab our material, put it on the floor, and as you can see, it is cast to our floor. And it has the surface imperfections, little scratches that we made little, uh, from the bump map or the normal map, and yeah, so... As you can see, high quality textures can cast to anything, uh, pretty quick, effective, very basic. This is not a very high quality image that I got, so the actual original texture could be different for you. I mean, you could create yours from scratch, it doesn't really matter, just whatever the image texture is, take your own photos, but yeah. So we can cast this to any object in the scene. So there we go, we casted it to this staircase here. And that actually looks pretty nice. So, uh, and you can mess with the settings too. Like you could, you know, if we get some light on it, you can see there's surface imperfections, scratches. Uh, you could even go in here, say you want it to be a little bit more um, shiny, you change the value from two to like six, and then hit apply. Now you can see the specular is a little bit larger, it's a little more shiny, and you can mess around with the roughness and all that within Blender or whatever software you're using to make the textures. So yeah, that was my quick little tutorial, I hope you guys liked it.